meantime, federal officers, they're also making certain any trucks pulling up to Super Bowl venues that they're safe and that they're all clear. They gave CBS 46 Megan Packer a very unique look at their inspections. Megan continues our team coverage. Before a truck makes any kind of Super Bowl delivery, it has to first get the all clear from federal officers. You know, it's, it's, it's critical that, um, that we know what, what, what vehicles are entering the venues. U.S. Customs and Border Protection brought in officers and equipment from seaports in Savannah and Norfolk. They're usually scanning containers that come in from other countries, but this week they're in Atlanta to inspect every commercial vehicle headed to the Georgia World Congress Center and Mercedes-Benz Stadium. Goes in to make sure that there are no um, explosives or weapons or anything like that. CBP officers drive the special x-ray equipment over the truck they're inspecting, and an officer monitors the images to make sure whatever is inside is supposed to be there. So our officers are looking for anomalies. Um, they have the paperwork from the, from the driver that says, Maybe this is a truckload of paper towels. So the officers know we're looking for paper towels in the back of this truck. If they see anything other than paper towels, that's going to cause them to say, okay, there's something, something here that we need to take a closer look at. When trucks are cleared, Atlanta police officers escort them to the venue to make sure nobody tampers with the deliveries between point A and point B. So far, so good this week with no surprises inside. They're scanning about 200 trucks a day. They tell me they inspected about 1,300 in Minneapolis last year. Reporting outside Mercedes-Benz Stadium, Megan Packer, CBS 46 News.